it seems that life has something to do with this picture. Right? So what is the solution? And now I'm going to explain to you the solution to Einstein's unified field. And you're going to understand it better than any physicist on this planet. And you're ahead of them, believe me. And it's that simple. And you can understand for yourself. Okay? So here's Einstein. Einstein is just staring down into a black hole. And he said, if I could model the geometry of infinite non-destructive compression, I'd know how to get voltage from gravity and how, why black holes bend time. Well, he didn't understand the geometry of self-similarity or fractality optimized by the golden mean ratio, which is then this three-dimensional fractal, the stellated dodecaecosa. He didn't understand the geometry of infinite compression, which you now understand. So now, let's ask ourselves if we understand why that makes gravity. Why is it so important for you, know, you to know how to make gravity? Because as the sun goes to its solar maxima, only the biological structures that are able to make gravity survive. Okay? That in effect, DNA is a device for fabricating local gravity, as is your bliss. Yeah. So we're going to look at the geometry of what enables that fabrication of a gravity wave, and here's how it works. Please, this is the point of the whole evening, so I... I beg of you to follow me with this one, okay? Wavelength A meets wavelength B, and they have kids, wavelength C, okay? That's called conjugal relations. It's very sexy, okay? In physics, it's called phase conjugation, but the meaning in physics and the meaning in genetics is the same. The meaning is the waves must both add and multiply because recursive adding is multiplying. It happens that the, only the golden mean ratio gives waves the geometry where wavelength A and wavelength B can meet and cross, making wavelength C such that A plus B equals C and A times B equals C. That's called an arithmetic and a geometric progression. Only the golden mean ratio permits that. So what happens? You get recursive adding and multiplying of the wavelengths. Well, that's pretty simple, isn't it? You get infinite non-destructive interference. Another way of saying you get infinite constructive interference because with that sexy conjugal relations, you got all children that fit the nest. So the kids didn't fight, get it? Very simple. It's like family relations. Well, how is that the solution to gravity? This is very important now. This is the essence of the science of the evening that when wavelength A and wavelength B meet, they're literally, they're literally surfers, okay? Have you ever watched a surfer when the wave is going this way and the surfer's doing this, and then he's got the crest of the crash of the wave coming this way, so he's following the lip of the curl, and when the curl collapses on the other wave, the wave velocities add and multiply, and he comes shooting out of that curl like he's been shot from a gun, right? Well, the physics of this is exactly that. Wavelength A and wavelength B in the physics of heterodyning, and I'm speaking strictly solid hard physics now, is that the wave velocities add and multiply. So wavelength A and wavelength B have children not just in wavelength but in wave velocities. The phase front of wavelength A meets the phase velocity of wavelength B, and they shoot forward a child whose wave velocity is the addition and multiplication of the parent waves. And that adding and multiplying of wave velocities produces acceleration. And so the wave right here has been pushed through the speed of light. Now, if you know anything about Einstein, you know exactly that acceleration and gravity are identical. They cannot be differentiated. If you produce acceleration, you've got gravity, okay? So the fact is that when you pull the drain in your bathtub, I mean, when you pull the drain through the speed of light here, what you do is create the suction for charge that can go through the speed of light at the center. And that wind of charge going between frequencies through the speed of light is called gravity. Now, why 